For this project, uh, I'm going to use a, a little different material. Uh, those of you that are from the south and the southeast, uh, these sticks are recognizable as tobacco sticks. Uh, they use them to when they harvest uh, tobacco leaves to uh, spear and, and stack the tobacco so they can hang it in a tobacco barn so it can dry. So as you can see, um, it's all kinds of different materials. They don't always come out straight. Um, so what I do is I pick the straightest of them and you can see a very large stack here that I've taken and I've taken just a um, 13 inch planer or some type of planer to uh, make two of the sides flat and nice and smooth. And then glue them up into a, uh, uh, basically a board. Uh, it'll be very uneven. Then I take the board on the other side and then you can see this is one that has been uh, planed a second time and it actually makes just a really thin board. From there, you can see here, I've taken a very similar board, uh, cut it up into uh, four by four sections, and then just took uh, wood glue and glued and clamped them together. Make sure that you clamp all, all the sides of it so you don't have any gaps uh, between the two pieces of wood because they'll be very noticeable when you create a bracelet out of it. Okay, now what I need to do is take my blank and find the center of it and then... Uh, actually take it to the bandsaw and cut, cut the corners off. Uh, I use this uh, little center finder, makes it really simple. And actually I've got my compass here. Find the center. And I think this is just a really cheap little kid's compass. So I'm really, all I'm trying to do is just knock off the corners to save, uh, I guess you could say save the blank from beating me to death as I would have to take the corners off. Okay, now I'm going to drill it up with a uh, Forstner bit. Uh, I think this is a two and a quarter inch, which means uh, the bracelet's uh, um, kind of a kid size bracelet, so I'm going to have to open it up a little bit more on the uh, on the way. see now I'll take it the bandsaw and cut the corners off okay now I'm ready to turn you can see here I've cut the corners off I'm ready to chuck it up on just this Nova uh, G3 chuck with the uh, I guess the standard jaws I think these are two and a quarter jaw inch minimum jaws they'll go out to almost uh, two and three quarters I don't want to over tighten it because uh, there is a, a chance that you could split the glue or actually uh, a lot of these tobacco sticks have uh, defect, defects in them where uh, they're cracked. I mean they've been used for years and years. Uh, I think the location I got this from uh, the farmer said that uh, they had quit uh, farming tobacco and uh, these were at least uh, 75 years old. Okay, I'm going to use the uh, my easy wood tools. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use the little mini finisher. Um, you can see I've got a uh, uh, tool rest that's flat, a flat top. Uh, don't run it too fast. Just enough to touch into it and you know, clean up and uh, round everything up. Okay, I'm going to size the inside 
uh, get the one side of the inside uh, to size before I flip it over. I created a series of like, little uh, plastic slugs on the on my um, lathe, and for this case, I'm going to create one that's uh, just a little over two and a half. And what I I'll, I'll put the size sizes I use on the uh, on the screen for my website. Uh, basically, I'm just using it as a gauge. In this case, I'm making a, a what I call a large size. Um, I'm going to use a, a little different uh, easy wood tool. And see, I'm going to use uh, one that is square, square tool. Uh, I think they call that the rougher. And basically all I'm going to do is I'm just going to size in a little bit at a time to push it straight in and open it up on about half the size. I can actually see where the jaws are, so I want to be careful not to hit the jaws inside. And I'm just going to push straight in. I really don't want to take too much off because I uh, can't pull wood back in. In this case, notice I'm still a pretty good distance from the from the large. Take just another See, now it's just a, a little loose in there. I have uh, another one made for extra large. Notice it doesn't fit. So I'm within that range of uh, the size, what I call a size large. Okay. So what I can do now is I can flip the blank over. And Go ahead and finish out the in, inside diameter. Stop it and see there's just a, a little bit a little difference between the, the sizes. Okay. Well, everything's the same size all the way across. Now I can start to uh, form my bracelet. And uh, just kind of gonna kind of make it round on uh, ease it over on both sides and then sand it up I'm just going to flip it over and do the other side and try to get them to match. Now this is the point where you definitely don't want to over tighten it because if you do you'll, you'll hear a popping sound and you've just popped the, actually split the wood out. Doesn't take very much to hold them on there.
we'll be careful you don't get the tool back far enough to get into the uh, get into your uh, okay shelf. at this point I start with uh, 80 grit sandpaper and uh, 80 grit can do quite a bit you can be aggressive I don't spend too much time sanding on the inside. Uh, I know a lot of people, I want to make sure that it's smooth for somebody's uh, wrist that it's going to be on, but you know, it's not really going to be seen. Let's see. And for demonstrations, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through and I'm going to sand and finish sanding this down to uh, we'll just smooth it down with 80 grit. Probably go all the way down to uh, 220, maybe 320. Uh, and, uh, then I'm just going to use some spray polyurethane on it. Lay it down on uh, something uh, a piece of wood, spray one side, uh, wait till it dries and then flip it over. You could hang it, uh, there's different methods to do it, but I've just found it just as easy to go ahead and spray one side, let it dry, and then uh, flip it over and and uh, sand the other side. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that and uh, come back and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. 